Uh, let's get started. You just gonna hang out right there? Okay, um, all right, we'll just get started. Uh, hi, uh, welcome to another episode of Cybersecurity 101. I'm... Okay, I guess he's gonna go. That's good. Okay, we don't need him. All right. I'm Mark Hemingway, uh, Creative Content Director here at Archer Energy Solutions, and today we're going to talk about bots. So we need to learn a little bit more about what they are. Um, I know a little bit, but not very much. So uh, if you're not familiar with how we do this show, I uh, use ChatGPT to help me learn cybersecurity terms. So we're gonna already loaded here in ChatGPT is what is a bot? Let's see, a bot is a software application that performs automated tasks, typically repetitive or routine, often designed to simulate human interaction. Okay. Okay, that leads me to my next question. Are there different types of bots? We know they're repetitive and all that, but are there different types of them? Uh, they include chat bots, okay, uh, social media bots, web crawlers, and gaming bots. All right, so is this just basically AI, right? Let's find out. Are bots a form of AI? They'd have to be. Yes, bots often incorporate artificial intelligence to varying degrees, enabling them to perform tasks autonomously or simulate human-like behavior. Okay, I don't know if they act on their own. They just do a task that they're, perf that they're required to do. Sounds like. All right, let's see if we can find out what bots are being used in and around different industries. So what are some common uses of bots in various industries? Bots are used for customer service, marketing, data analysis, content creation, uh, and automation in industries like retail, finance, healthcare, and gaming. All right, so kind of, I guess it, yeah, it is a, a form, like they said, of a form of AI. Okay. All right, I'm sure they play a role in cyber attacks. So uh, are bots being used for cyber attacks? Of course. They are. Yes. Ta -da! Uh, bots are sometimes used for cyber attacks, such as distributed denial of service, DDoS attacks, or spreading malware through infective botnets. Oh, you just attach the malware right, right to the old, uh, right to the old bots, huh? Send them on in. <laughs> Ugh. All right, well, bots are everywhere, good and bad. So how do we protect ourselves from the bad bots? You can protect yourself by using security software, keeping software updated, using CAPTCHA or other verification methods, and being cautious about clicking on suspicious links or downloading unknown files. Don't click on things. Stop clicking things. That's my one piece of advice that I can give to anybody. Don't click anything. Unless you know for sure that that's going where that's supposed to go. That's it. That's the bad side. So when it comes to the good bots, um, question I have here is, how do bots contribute to enhancing our user experience on websites and applications? Bots enhance user experience by providing instant responses to queries, automating tasks like booking appointments, okay, or ordering products, all right, uh, personalizing recommendations, uh, and guiding users through complex processes. Okay, all right, so they're very useful. That's good, but of course, because it's useful, we can turn them bad, like like everything. People, that's another example. All right, time to wrap this bad boy up. So I always end the show with a question regarding real life incidents. So what is a real life incident that involved a bot? One real life incident involved the Twitter bot at Tay and you wrote that, created by Microsoft, okay? It was designed to learn from interactions with users and engage in conversations. However, it quickly learned and repeated offensive language and viewpoints from some users, leading to its shutdown within 24 hours of its launch in 2016. Well, at least they figured out that it was being offensive. Um, 
and they took it down. But that's that's actually kind of funny uh, that they that that happened. All right. Well, I think that concludes us looking into bots and what they are. Um, learned a little. That's good. I uh, hope you did too. Uh, once again, if there's anything that you think I should learn, uh, put it down in the comments below. Let me know um, if I got something, if we got something wrong. Because, you know, they even say that ChatGPT isn't always right. So uh, that could be the case. So like always, make sure you uh, follow us on our social medias, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And as always, go to our YouTube channel at MercherU. Uh, don't forget to go there, like, subscribe. Ring the bell so that you can be notified when we release new cybersecurity 101s, on targets, what videos, direct connects, critical insights, all those different videos. We have a, a ton of them on there. Um, you should go check them out. So anyway, thanks again, and we'll see you the next time. All right. Bye. You can catch new episodes every Thursday. Follow us on YouTube at ArcherU. Like, subscribe, and click the bell notification to be notified when a new episode has been released. Is there a question or a topic you'd like Mark to address on an upcoming episode of Cybersecurity 101? Leave them in the comments below and check back in every Thursday for a brand new episode.